All right, guys, welcome back at Emotion PSUs. So here we are with this computer and this RTX 3080. But as you can see, it's going really high in temperatures. So basically, it's going at 98 degrees on the memory, 81 degrees on the core, which is a bit too much. So in today's undervolting tutorial, what we will do is basically give you one profile that's going to work for each and every one of you. And it's going to be the first one. So you can just copy that and close the video in case you just want it to work without knowing why. And then the rest of the video are going to be about why we did that and what you can do if you want to fine tune it a little bit okay every software that you will need is going to be in the description so let's get started first thing you want to do is just open up msi afterburner and now while you have heaven benchmark running in the background you want to just simply go here click on curve editor and this thing will pop up you want to go here and unlock the power limit and the temperature limit and hit apply you want to go here and of course go on settings and enable the unlock and monitoring of the voltage if you haven't so enable these and then you want to go on the core clock and slide it down by 200 megahertz around 200 megahertz as you can see the curve will lower at this point you want to go here and grab the 900 millivolt point those are the voltage points those are the frequency points just grab the 900 point and bring it all the way up to 1900 okay 1908 1914 1900 doesn't matter it's depending on the card and now you want to hit apply right here boom at this point you want to go over here and then just give it plus 1000 and hit apply and the undervolting is done now if we go and check the temperature it's actually going to be much better as you can see it's going down it's going to drop quite a bit of degrees but anyways this you just want to copy it this is it but now I will give you a couple different profiles. So in case you want to go for full efficiency, you can try this profile right here. This one basically works for 850 millivolts at 1800 megahertz. So again, if you wanted to apply it, you just want to lock this, our limit temperature limit to the max. Then you want to go lower the core clock by 200 and then grab the 850 millivolt voltage point and bring it up to 1800 and just hit apply. And this will give you an 850 by 1800 millivolt. And this is going to work for every one of you. It's going to give you a bit less performance, but it's going to give you lower temperature. The first profile is going to give you usually more than stock performance while lowering the temperature. So it's probably the best sweet spot. This one is more for efficiency. But now if you have some time, you can just try for yourself and go by 25 millivolt down at a time and see if it's still stable. So I will show you another couple of profiles that I saved. So for example, you have this one. Basically my card is able to run at 1800 megahertz with just 800 millivolts. So this is the absolute maximum efficiency one. Then my card is also able to do 1900 megahertz on the 850 voltage point. But this is, isn't really useful, but it's just in case you want to do 1900, you can just tune it to work with a bit less than 900. And then this is my personal profile. So this one is the maximum performance one. And it's basically at 900 millivolt, 1950. Okay, so I recommend this one. In case you're still here, I will spend a couple more seconds explaining the memory overclocking, okay? So with memory overclocking, it's not like the core overclocking. So it can happen that you set a certain value. And for example, here we can set 1000 and it's gonna work. This is for every card, but like 1% of card, this will not work. And then you will need to put 800 but 800 will work for every card in existence okay then you can try to go higher so let's say you try 1200 this might work but it's not certain that this will give you more performance so if you want to go over 1000 you want to use a benchmark and check that your fps actually increase when you increase this one because from a point on it will stop increasing for example on my car 1600 works but it doesn't give me more performance okay if it crashes it will do something like this and it will just freeze as you can see just freeze in artifacting but it's not gonna damage your car so this is it guys if you liked it drop a follow drop a like and see you in the next one bye